Hello again, everybody. This is Wayback Sports Cards. We're here again. Another box break, another week, another box break. This time we are uh, jumping out of the junk wax era and we are going back to 1998, 23 years ago, to Collector's Choice Series 1 Baseball. Got it right here. Gonna pull it up on, uh, pull some slides up on screen. Uh, to give you a little bit of information about 1998 Collector's Choice Series 1 Baseball as I open this box. So you'll look at some information while you hear me break this box open here. Um, this particular box has 36 packs, 5 cards per pack. Um, so we're going to, as we uh, get this thing open here, and uh, the information it will be on the screen there. Um Give you an idea how much I paid for this. I believe I paid over 30, a little over 30 bucks for this. So, um, you know, we'll see. These are these seem to be smaller packs than the retail ones. The retail ones, I think, had about 10 or 12 cards per pack. But um, anyway, we are going to get going here in uh, just a second. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. is the cover, cover guy for the box here. Um, as we get going here, I am going to show you the pack. Um, Ken Griffey Jr. on the front, five cards per pack. We're going to turn this over, and there's a uh, bunch of inserts. Uh, Stickums, Evolution, Revolution, um, various Star Quest levels. So with that, we're going to get going here. And let's see what we got here in the first pack. We got Mickey Tettleton, and you can see the design is a little, little funky uh, as you go along here. Um, a lot of card companies out here at this time trying to differentiate between the others. So you got the upper deck logo and the collector's choice in the upper uh, left hand corner, team logo in the lower left hand corner, um, the position in the upper right hand corner, and the name, player name in the lower right hand corner. So that is uh, the front, and I'll just quickly show you the back. Um, full stats, full career stats, and a little blurb um, there, and then a did you know on the side, So, and then some stats below a, a color photo. So they do cram a lot of information on the back. Pretty good. Jason Schmidt is the second card here in the pack. Got Butch Husky, um, top of the charts, Randy Myers, Jeff Shaw, uh, save category, and uh, Mike Piazza. The final card in the pack there. Nice. So, with five cards per pack, hopefully we can get through these fairly quick. Um, Shannon Stewart, good player there for the Blue Jays for a while. These cards are sticking a little bit, but they're not sticking to the point where they're damaging the other cards. So this is not bad. Garrett Anderson, longtime great Angels player. Ellis Burks, another top of the charts, Clemens and Nagel. And uh, here's our first... Star Quest. It is Ben Grieve, former number one overall pick, Oakland Athletics. Star Quest number 15. So we'll hold that off to the side. That's the first insert. So two packs in, and we found ourselves an insert. Looks like we may have another one on the way. Uh, Doc Gooden there with the Yankees in 98. Uh, he pitched a no hitter with the Yankees in 96. Darren Erstad, great leadoff hitter for a few years there with the Angels. High on base percentage. Underrated player. Ramon Martinez, also underrated. Top of the charts, Clemens and Pedro. Wow, that's a... And Pedro, pre-Red Sox there. He's still with the Expos at the time. Clemens still with the Blue Jays. Really cool card there. That's a couple of all-time greats. And then another star quest. Um, Ken Cloud, who I have no idea who Ken Cloud is. I followed baseball very much at this time and do not know who Ken Cloud is. So, uh, but two star quests in a row. A lot of, uh, landscape cards here. So Rico Brony, another landscape shot, uh, Jeff King. With the Royals there at that point. He was a pirate earlier in his career. Mark Bellhorn. Another top of the charts. Brian Hunter. Tony Womack. Stolen bases. 
and uh, Cover Glory, Tony Gwynn. I believe this is a subset. Yes, it's card number six. So I believe that is a subset. Gary Gaetti, Brian Giles with the Indians at the time. <clears throat> Greg Gagne, shortstop. I'll be sending him some through the mail cards for signatures soon. That's a nice one to hold on to. A rookie class of Craig Council. So I uh, believe that's his rookie card there. We are looking for the Maglio or Donia's um, card there. So here we go, the Mark McGuire card right there. And he is 1997. Collector's Choice All-Star. So those Collector's Choice All-Stars, I think, have the gray border. So that is the final card in that pack. Ricky Batalico with the football for no particular reason other than uh, he's just hanging out. Rob Nen, longtime closer there with the with the Marlins, who were the world champions in 97. So he was there in 97 for that championship. He was their closer. Carlos Delgado, early career Carlos Delgado, the backwards hat. Really cool batting cage shot there. Brad Fulmer, rookie class. Had a couple of good years there with the Expos. And uh, we got a Craig Biggio. This is the last card in the set. Very nice. Hall of Famer, Craig Biggio. We've got Rick Helling, Rangers pitcher, starting pitcher at the time. Had a couple of good years there. I think his big year was 98, if I'm not mistaken. Or I think he had 18 wins, 19 wins, something like that. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, designated hitter there. We've got uh, Rich Robertson. We've got a Stickums of Ivan Rodriguez, Pudge. You can see it's a floppier card. And we got another star quest. This one's Derek Lee, Padres first baseman. Later uh, found his way with the uh, Cubs, I believe, in the mid two thousands. There, so quite a few inserts here early on. Ramiro Mendoza, Yankees uh, relief pitcher, very critical to the World Championship teams of the late nineties. Dan Wilson, catcher. Nafi Perez. We've got a uh, checklist with uh, Mark McGuire featured on it. And Cal Ripken featured, so I'm going to hold on to that. And then another star quest, we've got Matt Morris with the Cardinals there. So I'm going to take another look because we've got quite a few of these star quests. Hmm... StarQuest Special Delivery. I believe those are what those are. So, one out of two packs. Hanley Frias. I don't, know, don't remember him. Jimmy Key. Pitcher who is uh, standing on first base there in spring training, presumably. Chuck Knobloch. He found his way to the Yankees in 98 and was a big part of the 98 World Series team. Former Rookie of the Year as well, Chuck Knobloch. Kevin Millwood, Rookie Class. And another star quest, this one is Kurt Schilling. So, so far, I mean, fun set. There's Chad Curtis. Fun set. There's a lot of inserts coming in and out every couple of packs. So there's always something you're, you're kind of looking forward to here. The design leaves a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. But uh, the back's got plenty of stats. There's Paul Canerco, rookie class. I don't believe this is his rookie card. I've seen cards of his go back as early as 94. So uh, it took him a few years to get there to the majors and stick. And then there's a Tim Salmon, Star Quest. Tim Salmon, one of the all-time great Angels players. Uh, Angels fans will certainly attest to that. Here's Jeff Kent, perennial all-star there at second base with the Giants in that era. That's really when he broke out, when he joined the uh, Giants. Eric Davis, at this point, he's with the Orioles. 
We got Deion Sanders to sport superstar. I always hold on to Deion cards. Another checklist and a cover glory of Ken Griffey Jr. with that patented sweet swing. Always a nice looking card when you got Griffey. Griffey just follow through on those great swings of his. Mickey Morandini. Um, Jason Dixon, Dustin Hermanson. Is that only four card pack? It is. Interesting. Um, and David Justice, Star Quest. So interesting there. They say five cards per pack. I got four in that one. So I'm not sure what's up there. Jose Valentin. Uh, Mike Bordick. Brett Saberhagen toward the end of his career there with the Red Sox. Uh, Kirk Reeder, longtime starter there with the Giants. Looks like he's fielding a comebacker. And uh, Lee Smith, one of the all-time great closers here at the Expos. Definitely at the end of his career. Yeah. Wow, what a long career Lee Smith had. Darren Bragg. Richie Sexton, early career. Diamond debut in 97. Mark Sweeney. Um, and a Tony Gwynn Star Quest. Awesome. And again, uh, four cards in that pack. So the quality control on the part of uh, Collector's Choice, not good here. I'd be a little upset. I am a little upset. I would be certainly a little upset if I had spent money on you know individual packs back in the day. When I didn't have the kind of money to do this. Tim Raines. Awesome. Got Oral Hershiser here with the uh, Indians. Matt Franco with the Mets. Top of the charts. Griffey and Galarraga. Look at those RBI numbers. 147, 140. And a cover glory. With Big Mac featured with the A's and with the Cardinals. I believe 97 is when he made his move over to St. Louis, and then, uh, of course, 98, we're opening 98, Collector's Choice 98 is when uh, Big Mac and Sammy Sosa both broke the home run record, and say what you will about that, but oh, what's this, we've got, we've got a card, uh, looks like Todd Hunley with the Mets, and it's got a little sticker on it. I believe this is the, uh, is this the Evolution Revolution? It's one of those trifold cards, so I'm not going to open this right now, but Todd Hunley there. Chris Carpenter, rookie class, and a Charles Johnson with the Marlins. World Series champion Marlins there. Blue Collier, Skinny Bartolo Colon, very nice, uh, Jerry DePoto, Tony Barron, and uh, Hall of Famer Paul Molitor still playing a little defense there at the end of his career. Still hanging around there in 1998. I didn't realize he had played that long. JT Snow, Mark Wohlers. John Thompson, Brad Rigby, rookie class, and a uh, cover glory of Tino Martinez, Yankee first baseman. Fun fact, I was at 1998 World Series Game 1, Yankees versus Padres, and uh, Tino Martinez hit a uh, grand slam in that game. So uh, Tino Martinez always having a special place in my heart as a Yankee fan and baseball fan. So Matt Morris, uh, pitcher who is hitting. Bobby Bonilla, Met fans' favorite player. Chris Clemens, top of the charts. Griffey and Larry Walker and Mark McGuire. So, and then a Juan Gonzalez, Star Quest. Those who do not know, Juan Gonzalez did sign some cards for me through the mail recently. If you look him up online. He, uh, you'll, you could find his address and uh, 
Send him some cards, and he will sign them if you send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Quickly go through this. Not too much here other than the Tino Martinez Star Quest. So we've got a couple of Tino Martinez cards in the last few packs. I have no problem with that. Steve Traxel. Uh, Edgar Renteria. World Champion Renteria with the Marlins. Quentin McCracken, Jarrett Wright, rookie class, and awesome Ken Griffey Jr. Star Quest. Love it. It's got the Jackie Robinson patch on. That's awesome. That might be my favorite card of the set so far of this break. That's love it. Always love a, a Griffey Jr. card. Brett Butler. Oh. Whoa, three-star star quest of Barry Lamar Bonds, the home run king. That is pretty. And wow, I just got finished saying how much I love that Griffey card. I think I like this Bonds card even more. This is this is awesome. I gotta check the uh gotta check the uh odds on that. The card in the corner is a little came out a little raised corner, but still not bad. Um, not too much there. And then we got a cover glory of Mike Piazza. So I think StarQuest Special Delivery is one out of two packs. Students of the Game, Super Power. I'm not sure which one that is. I'll have to uh, check that out. Joe Vidiello. And this one's sticking a little bit, but not damaging the card. Jose Mesa. Mari Jansen, and a rookie class of Jason Varitek. Hold on to that. And Star Quest of Bubba Trammell. So this is taking a little bit longer than I thought, just because we are kind of opening so many packs. Chuck Finley there. Offerman, Matt Stairs, Willie McGee, and uh, Eddie Murray. Hall of Famer, Eddie Murray. We've got Billy Wagner, one of the great underrated all-time closers. Mike Fetters. Aaron freaking Boone. Ask Red Sox fans that, or Yankee fans these days. Aaron Yankee fans are not thrilled with Aaron Boone in New York. Last card here, Frank Thomas with his great follow-through. So as we kind of get down to the last few packs here, this is a really kind of a fun break. Um, I paid about, I think about 35 bucks for this. Um, I did put it on the slide at the beginning of the break. Greg Maddox, Star Quest, one star. Um, but this is a fun box break, you know, for 35 bucks. Um, there's enough inserts to keep you busy. There's some star players in here. The design is pretty good. Um, Joey Cora. Frank Catalanato, Carlos Hernandez, Checklist, and a Frank Thomas Star Quest. So a couple of good Star Quests in the last few packs here. Griffey, Maddox, Thomas, and the Bonds three star. Walt Weiss, shortstop, Paul Sorrento, Bobby Jones, Todd Dunwoody, and uh, Fernando Tatis Star Quest. Fernando Tatis Sr. For those of you watching this video not knowing, Fernando Tatis Jr.'s father did play for the Rangers and also uh, most famously for the Cardinals where he hit two grand slams in the same inning. And I forget what year that was. It may have been 98. I, I don't recall the year. Fernando Valenzuela. Love Fernando. I keep his cards. Tyler Houston. We got another trifold. This time it looks like it's Johnny Damon. Awesome. Young Johnny Damon right there. And then uh, Raul Mondesi signing some autographs. Cool picture there. Cool picture. And you'll notice on a lot of these cards, the guys are wearing the uh, Jackie Robinson patch on their, on their sleeve. That is because in 97, they honored Jackie Robinson's 50th anniversary of breaking the color barrier in Major League Baseball. 
and it led to his number being retired by all of the Major League teams. We got a Stickums of the Rocket, Roger Clemens, and a Gary Sheffield. Looks like we got about five packs left. And I'm already over 20 minutes, so I do want to get through this fairly quick because I know a lot of you don't watch the entire videos. Um, the rookie class of Todd Helton, awesome. I don't believe that's his rookie card. And then a star quest of A-Rod, one star, but it is A-Rod. Willie Adams, Javi Lopez. One of the great catchers there of that era. Jeff Shaw. We've got Jeremy Gonzalez and Larry Walker with the Rockies. Larry Walker, recent Hall of Famer. Believe uh, finally getting inducted this uh, in a couple of weeks there with Derek Jeter. Jeff Blauser. Mark Grace. Dave Magadan. Got a Stickums again of Jose Cruz Jr., who was a hobby darling here in the 97 98 era. Jose Cruz Jr., and then another Jose Cruz Jr. there with the cover glory. So, if you're a Jose Cruz Jr. fan in that era, you would have been thrilled about that pack. Eduardo Perez, Tim Belcher, Vlad Guerrero. Here we go. His son tearing up the majors right now. Vlad Guerrero Sr., Hall of Famer. Juan Gonzalez, Stickum, And a Nomar, StarQuest. A lot of good... In my, my insert pile is uh, quite deep here. Alan Bennis, Jeff D'Amico, Steve Avery. Top of the charts, Nomar and Scott Rowland. And a Scott Rowland, StarQuest. Very nice. And the last pack here. Carlos Baerga with the Mets. Todd Jones. Pokey Reese. These are sticking just a little bit. Top of the charts. Clemens and Schilling. And Vinny Castilla is our last card. So I am going to quickly go back Um I'm going to show you some of the key. We got a lot of Star Quest, Roland, Garcia Power, a bunch of Stickums, a um, bunch of Stickums, A Rod, Star Quest, a couple of Trifolds. Uh, there's Johnny Damon. We also got one of Todd Hunley, Frank Thomas, Greg Maddox, the three star bonds, which I need to look up. We got Griffey, one star. Um, there's the other Trifold. Tony Gwynn, David Justice. We got a lot of cool, um, a lot of cool cards here. We did not find a Maglio Ordonez rookie card, unfortunately. Um, but we did find some really cool inserts. Seems like once every two packs, we found some kind of insert card. So really, really fun box break. We did find a lot of stars, Hall of Famers as well. So overall, I'd give this a recommend. Fun break. Um, don't expect to find anything that's going to command a ton of money PSA 10, but otherwise a really fun break. And with that, we're going to finish up this video. And I thank you for watching. And we will be back next week with another box break. This is Wayback Sports Card signing off. Take care, everyone.